Hello boys and girls, so today we are going to design and configure this network topology where we do have a router with an IP address of 192.168.1.1/24, and then on this side we do have a DNS and DHCP server which has a static IP address of 192.168.1.2/24, and we do have an access point that help us to create the wireless network through these laptops and uh, we have some few instructions below given the first instruction says that we need to use command line interface to assign IP address to routers F80 slash 0 interface second instruction we do have a server which should contain the two protocol that is DHCP and DNS where the DHCP service should have a IP pool with the start IP 192.168.103/24 DNS service should have a fully qualified domain name www.cisco.com which maps to 192.168.102/24 since uh, this server this itself is a HTTP server and a DNS server for our um, design so we do have a same IP address 192.168.102 to the server and to the DNS server and the next instruction is that all the devices PC0, PC1, PC2, Laptop0, Laptop1 and Laptop2 should be able to dynamically get IP addresses and access the given fully qualified domain name that is cisco.com and at the end after we complete the network setup we need to perform the ping test and the PDU test in every possible way so let us start this is our packet tracer platform. Uh, first of all, we need to have a router, uh, 1841 router, and then we need to have a switch over here. So let us go to switches and let us get a 24 port switch. And then we need to get our server. Uh, now let's go to in devices and a generic server. Let's put it over here. This server will act as a DNS and a DHCP server for this entire network now we are going to have a couple of computers three PCs over here okay now let us have our access point to create a wireless network over here and let's put some laptops three laptops are required for our design okay so this is the devices that is required for our design now let us have a connection you can choose automatic um, choose connection type which will automatically select the type of wire that is required for us so now let us connect switch to server switch to PCs now switch to access point again okay this is it so you can click on fast forward time which will um, forward the 30 second time of our entire design okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to configure the IP address for route which is 192.168.1.1 slash 24 by using command line interface so now let us go to router this is command line interface which is used for configuring our router by using commands in um, inter-networking operating system for Cisco router okay so continue with configuration dialog no uh, we are going to manually configure so the first thing uh, the first command we need to have is enable next is configure terminal and now select the interface um, we have an interface fa0 slash 0 type IP address that is 192.168.1.1 space 
shutdown no shut down will uh, make your port status on enter exit so now let's go and check it either you can go to config fast 700 and check this IP address port status on or you can use command line to check the IP address uh, type so IP interface brief you can see the IP address given to fast Ethernet 00 is 192.168.1.1 and uh, its uh, st status is up so it's configured now let us go to the server this is a DNS and DHCP server okay so let's put it the name let's add a note it has a IP address 192.168.1.1 slash 24 and this is our DNS and DHCP server DHCP server which will have an IP address of 192.168.1.2 slash 24 so let us write over here 192.168.1.2 slash 24 now the next thing we are going to do is the um, configuration of DHCP server on this server so before configuring that DHCP server and particularly DNS server we need to manually give an IP address to this server so go to desktop go to IP configuration and give an IP address of 192.168.1.2 submit mask is default 255.255.255.0 gateway is the IP address for router so we have given an IP address of 192.168.1.1 so we will assign that 192.168.1.1 and DNS server is itself 192.168.1.2 because this particularly this server is our DNS and DHCP server so we do have a same IP address on this and DNS server so now let us go to services first of all we are going to configure the DHCP server I guess now you know the meaning of DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol and the steps the four steps that we have already talked about that is Tora discover offer request and acknowledgement so you need to have the basic information of regarding DHCP server and how DNS server works I guess you know it so gateway is 192.168.1.1 DNS server is 192.168.1.2 so since we have already assigned dot one to router and dot two to this DNS server we are going to start the IP address to this computers and the laptop with the start IP address 192.168.1.3 and the maximum number of user is automatically um, changed now if you save it so save it so look at it the maximum number of user is 253 okay so this is the configuration of for DHCP server now let us go to DNS server um, on it give a name since we have on the instruction given uh, we need to assign uh, fully qualified domain name cisco.com www.cisco.com to the IP address of 192.168.1.2 so now let us go back to DNS server Given IP address, given name of www.cisco.com and the IP address of 192.168.1.2. You can add it. So, this is the configuration of DNS, DNS server and DHCP server. Okay, so now let us go back to the design. Okay you can close it now it is all configured so now we need to be able to generate the IP address of this particular PCs
from the DHCP server that we just configured now. So go to computer, desktop, IP, you can go to the DHCP. As you can see the DHCP request is successful. You are able to generate the IP address which is the starting IP address from 1.3, subnet mask, default gateway and DNS server. Go to every computer and do the same. Computer, desktop, IP, DHCP, DHCP request successful, dot 4 is given onto this, IP, to this computer. Next computer, desktop, IP, choose DHCP. Okay, successful. But now on this part of network, which we have not looked at yet, this is a wireless network. And uh, one thing I would like to tell you, my dear students, this lab is um, designing and configuring the given network topology. And this lab is the combination of all the three labs that we have done till now. The first one is DNS lab. Um, and the second one is DHCP lab. And the third one is wireless lab. Since we already configured DNS and DHCP, now we are going to look after the wireless network. For wireless network to configure, we need to have the devices and in this laptop, in packet tracer, we need to manually, physically go to this overview, as you can see over here, and we need to change this port. And this is our LAN um, card, and we need to change it to a wireless card. So we need to turn off the laptop, click on this one, drag it to the top, leave it, and as you can see WPC 300 and this is a wireless card so click it drag it up and uh, left it over here switch the power on okay as you can see the wireless signal is now receiving um, the laptop is receiving it from the access point now let us go to the next laptop do the same process as you can see clearly Okay. So as you can see all these laptops are connected to this access point. So if you don't know, the access point is a device that is used for converting the network, the internet, coming from a wired interface to a wireless interface. So now let us go to uh, the laptops and check out the IP addresses, desktop, IP. DHCP is already configured. Check out all the laptop, desktop, IP. Yes, it is able to generate the IP addresses. Uh, laptop, desktop, IP. Okay, so this is fine. Now let us go to the uh, checking of DNS server which we have configured in the server and we had given the name of www.cisco.com. So for that, let us go to the computer, let us go to command prompt and type ping www.cisco.com So as you can see, you are getting reply. So we are able to connect to the cisco.com now let us go and verify through the browser web browser www.cisco.com enter it and you can see the message cisco packet tracer welcome to cisco packet tracer opening doors to new opportunities mine wide open so this is the default wave page that is hosted on server on the http server which is generated now so you can go and check it, uh, check that configuration in each and every computers and each and every laptops. Uh, so the next thing is that you can have a wireless network with password protected through access point. So what you can do is that go to access point, config, port 1. Since port 0 is used for connecting the wired network, 
port 1 is used for wireless network you can change the SSIDs um, I can put simple SSID name called uh, WLink and I can uh, put in a password WPA to PSK so the password may or might be this okay now since I uh, changed the network name and the password so the connection is lost so go to laptop PC wireless and you can connect to that network again so the network is over here click on it connect type the password and connect back again so as you can see adapter is active link information you have successfully connected to the access point and the network is already connected now so go to again laptop PC wireless do the same process So lastly, since we performed the ping test, and now we can also perform a simple PDU test. This is a add simple PDU button, where you can select and you can get the icon of this envelope. And you can connect, you can test the connection between any devices from laptop to, uh, might be this computer. As you can see, a successful message is over here. You can uh, do every possible PDU test connection. Okay, you can go to this router as well. So, look at here. You can connect in every possible way. So, every connection is successful. So, you can clear this. So, this is it. We have configured a router with an IP address 192.168.101.24. We have a server which acts as a DNS and DHCP server which provides the dynamic IP address to this laptop and computers. We have a DNS server which maps the IP address 192.168.1.2 to cisco.com www.cisco.com and we have an access point a password protected access point network so this is it thank you very much goodbye